if you can't go to your local GP or clinic to sort it out because you're afraid of judgment, you're going to try to do it yourself. And that's the point where you try to put pearls or douche or clean. So why are we not having these conversations with our doctors? Hmm. What's up, guys? My name is Lauren Kitumeti Sukute. Sechabane, <laughs> very long, simply known as Dr. Kitu. I am from Johannesburg and I completed my medical studies at Wits University. I am a GEMP student, which means that I got through um, into medicine through the uh, graduate entry medical program. Um, I did a Bachelor of Science first before I got into medicine. I am currently completing my community service. However, I had a bit of a glitch with co- <laughs> maternity leave. But yeah, I am a community service doctor. Thank you so much to Silu for <laughs> inviting me onto the channel. Um, I'm really inspired by this channel. I watch a lot of the videos. So if you are one of the loyal followers or new to this channel, don't forget to like, comment and, and subscribe. And yeah, let's keep on with the medical journeys. First question is, what does being a doctor mean to you? To me, it means basically helping people um obviously we help people in a (laughs) a larger scope than what we all think it is it's not just you know diagnosing them with certain diseases but it's a holistic approach um helping people mentally physically emotionally and yeah it's that's what that's what being a doctor encompasses so the reason why i wanted to be a doctor is um sadly my father passed away around i think five months before i was born and the details of how he passed away were always like sketchy so i always wanted to know what was the cause of death and in that i realized that i really like investigating medical um scenarios or situations I am a big fan of like CSI (laughs) and all these um, bones and all these investigative shows. And um, from that, I knew that um, there's something about me that wants to know why people get sick and how I can help them. So what did I wish I knew um, before I decided to embark on this career? Um, (laughs) There are a million ways to help people. And being a doctor is not just one of them. I also realized um, that there's, there's, there's such a big like give and take. You have to focus on how you're going to balance your life and being a doctor. It's very hectic. And I wish I knew that before I started. And I might have taken a different route, such as possibly like occupational therapy or physiotherapy those people have so much um, job satisfaction and they also help people so I wish I knew that there are many avenues to helping people and it's not just this one what is the most rewarding part of being a doctor Um, I would personally say that the most rewarding part is seeing people get well um which doesn't happen all the time but being well does not specifically mean the disease process itself Um, it can also mean being in a different emotional state um, realizing that there's more to life than you know materialistic things and how important your health is and all the different aspects of health mental emotional you know Um, yeah The patient I will never forget is a young girl who came in. Um, She was around about 16. She was pregnant and unfortunately she was having a miscarriage. And uh, I realized then that there's a different approach that you have to have to different patients and different situations. Um, Unfortunately, when she came in, she was, you know, scolded for being young and pregnant um but i'll never forget her because that's when i realized that you can change someone's life through a simple conversation and how important it is to realize the importance of the hippocratic oath and why we are doctors we are not here to judge people 
we are not here to you know make people so cognizant of their mistakes um when i saw that little girl the first thing and the one thing she needed was to know that no matter what she's done no one's here to judge her and everything will be okay and i remember after like helping her talking to her i told her one thing um no matter what's happening in your life whether you're sexually active or what you know whoever's judging you or whatever know where you want to be in life and where you want to go and that's what the conversation was around and um i think she came back about a year later and she was like she finished school that year and that was all i was worried about that at least she passes you know grade 11 and she moves on with life and she has goals and she 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 has a path for her life and that is the one patient i will never forget because that changed how i interact with patients um although i am very shy <laughs> i realized that the the conversations that you have with people are very meaningful in medicine. Oh, the next one <laughs> is um your most difficult time during uh, medicine and being a student. Um <laughs> I have documented this on my YouTube channel. Um I in final year I was pregnant. Um, <laughs> and obviously I had like anyone very difficult moments um in fact i had a bit of imposter syndrome <laughs> thinking why am i here and at some point i thought oh being pregnant clearly means that you're not supposed to be here. you're not supposed to complete this degree but um um it was a very difficult time trying to <laughs> hide my pregnancy and study and get through school um Fortunately, I did complete my degree, but it was it was very challenging. I think I learned that I can do anything I set my mind to, um no matter what circumstances I'm in. And for those who believe in God, <laughs> when you have God on your side, things really open up for you. How would I describe my internship years compared to student years? Well, um being a student is literally about passing for me <laughs> um it was about you know getting to the next level constantly it's a rush you just want to get through you know that blog exam you just want to you know graduate and being a intern is different now you are dealing with people's lives there's nothing related to you you know getting to a next level or passing it's about making sure that your patients are safe um that they are healthy and that they are alive to the best of your abilities because obviously you can't control death you know um but also as a student you don't really interact with doctors as much now you get to see the nitty-gritty people's personalities you know their egos what makes a health system thrive and it's it's actually the part that can make you depressed because you realize that there's such a big difference between being a student and being a doctor um but yeah 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 the rotation i enjoyed the most as an intern was emergency medicine <laughs> i know it was obviously the adrenaline rush and the institution that i was in um emergency medicine is basically mixed with trauma so you see a lot of trauma cases um with the you know medical part but it's an adrenal adrenaline rush you are you know smack bam in all the chaos i was in one of the busiest eds in the country after bara which is um telemogorani and wow ooh being there on derby nights you know um after pirates and chiefs have done their things and people are upset and they're drunk and oh it was a mess but yeah i i learned to be on my feet to be confident in myself and make decisions and you know when you're an intern you need to learn to make decisions and be a doctor and that helped me realize why I want to stay in this you know career and that this was made for me and I deserve to be here basically what kept me going when things were tough 
um, I would start off with my family and my faith um, there were like a lot of moments where I wanted to quit and there were ugh, sad moments where uh, I have I haven't spoken about this but um, in internship I did I had very <laughs> I was depressed and um, I did uh, attempt suicide at some point um, yeah I would say my family and my faith kept me going through those difficult times because it did get really rough at some points and I realized that you know sometimes you need to make promises to yourself and those promises are the ones that you need to keep more than you know promises you make to other people I could promise other people that I wanted to live but I could you know easily say no I don't want to keep that promise but the promises that I made to myself I need to keep and those were you know being a doctor helping people and taking each day as it comes and yeah that's how I got through Okay, so I'm going to mix the last two questions, advice to students who want to get into medicine and students who are already in medicine. Um, I have said that <laughs> it's obviously difficult to be sure that you want to do this. Um, that's why for students who want to get into medicine, I would advise that you try to go into a busy setting. Um, if, if I know now with COVID, it's a bit difficult, but um, the the... The thing that made me realize that I really, really wanted to be here was that in my student years, I um, did some community service work in Helen Joseph Hospital in their emergency department. And from doing that, I realized, okay, this is completely different to what I thought was happening before I applied. And um, this is why I might really want to do this. So you need to be within these settings. The other thing that I did was went to an old age home um, and I worked with the nurses. Um, I think there's misconceptions behind patient treatment, um, especially with people who are like really sick. Um, you might be like changing nappies, you know, wiping people's vomit off. You will be, you know, surrounded by people's odors, you know, people's bad personalities, people being rude to you. And um, you need to also be able to keep a cool level head. Like there's so, so, so much within medicine um, that you don't realize unless you're exposed to it. So for those who would like to get into medicine, um, make sure that you try to do some shadowing. And for those who are in medicine, um, make sure that you have a good support system. It's a tough road. Um, and the one thing I must say is that even if you fail a test or fail a block, don't give up. That does not mean that you are not smart or you are not meant to be there. Um, I have failed a few, <laughs> you know, tests and, you know, I always felt like, wow, like, am I that dumb? No. You are a percentage of the country that, you know, your matric marks were excellent. Your, you know, interpersonal skills. Like, they, when, when they chose you to get into this degree, they looked at a lot of things. So never doubt yourself. Don't let medicine make you think that you are not worthy or you are not smart enough. You are smart. And um, if you are there, there's, don't only focus on the books. Focus on self-development. You need to have a thick skin. There will be people or doctors during exams who will tell you that you're stupid. And you need to look past that. Obviously, we need to fight as a system to correct people who speak like that. But there will be so much against you. You need to also develop your, um, you know, yourself and make sure that you are okay through this process because it's tough. Um, what else can I say? <laughs> Another thing is, I know it's difficult depending on your personality, if you're shy, but try to find a mentor. Try to find someone you can look up to, someone who you can see is progressing through the road. Um, otherwise, you, you'll give up. And you need someone that you can see has a direction 
has a path that they're following and that they're doing it so that you can also be motivated another thing is to set goals um (laughs) you know from doing a bsc um i realized that once i got into medicine it was like oh i worked so hard to get here like what you know what do i do now because i remember um from bsc into medicine we had that pcms block and yo i failed so dismally because i was just like i finally got into medicine and then i like stopped studying for for that block like studying as hard as i would um because it was like i just got here you know i was like taken aback by all the thrill of being here um so for those who are still in medical school set goals for each block for each term you know have a direction where you want to go so that you don't you don't get flustered in in all happening around you um so yeah uh that's it for me thank you so much for tuning in um please comment like subscribe tell more of your medical friends there's about a thousand subbies down here we need to push it up um i think the more people know about the intricacies of medicine the more people are motivated the better doctors will produce and yeah thank you so much for tuning in see you next time our greatest glory is never in falling but in rising every time we fall if you liked this video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel to get more videos like these thank you to the new subscribers very much appreciated 